Okay, today I'm going to be taking a look at my new Rode Video Mic audio recording system I just got for my Canon T3i. This thing will mount to just about any camera that has a hot shoe mount to it, and it just simply plugs into the external mic jack on the camera. So we're going to run a quick test through the different modes that this thing can do and uh, see what she sounds like. So far, the only real drawback I've seen to this microphone is the fact that it runs off of a 9-volt battery. And anyone under the age of 25 probably doesn't own anything that runs off 9-volt batteries. This is what it looks like right here. And uh, it's archaic, and it's hard to believe that something this modern would use an old battery like that, but it does. So on we go. You'll see a set of switches right here on the, can on the inside of the battery compartment. And one is... Uh, zero decibels which is the factory setting which is what you would probably normally shoot at you also have the option on switch two of dropping the input by 10 decibels or on switch three dropping the input by 20 decibels depending on how loud the ambient noise is and whatnot but for uh, this quick review we're just going to leave it right at zero db the factory setting as it comes now here on the back of the unit is where the power switch is located you've got three positions off the on position, which is your standard recording position, just flat mic, and then the top, which is the high pass filter, which is a low frequency cutoff setting. You would use that to remove rumbles or low frequency noise that the camera might pick up while recording. The first test we're going to run right now is a baseline test, which we will use the built in microphone that Canon provides with the camera. See it right there? It's those four little holes above the word EOS. It works great indoors. You can shoot parties and weddings and whatnot. It picks up audio quite well inside. However, you get it outside in the wind, and any little wind that blows by is really whistling into those four holes, and it, it really picks it up, makes it difficult to hear anything. So the first test, we're just going to run it back and forth with that mic and see how it sounds. The second test we're going to run is with the Rode mic system mounted on the camera. You can see where it plugs right here into the internal jack on the camera itself. We took the foam windscreen off, so you've got the microphone itself just exposed. Um, it kind of looks like a shotgun mic, but this is an omnidirectional mic. It picks up off the front here, as well as along these serrations along the side. So it, it does a pretty good job of picking audio up 360 degrees, although it does an excellent job, I think of picking up audio straight ahead at distances much greater than the body the built-in microphone could do. So the first pass with this in this setup we're going to do on the standard setting then we're going to do the same pass again in the high pass filter setting to see what it sounds like. For the third test now, we are going to run it plugged in again, this time with the foam windscreen that Rode provides with the microphone, which seems to do a pretty decent job of breaking all but the most heavy-duty winds that you might encounter. Um, shot an outdoor wedding with it, with this 
foam pad on, it seemed to work fantastic. So again, the first pass is going to be in the standard on position, and the second pass right afterward will be in the high pass filter mode to see if we can tell a difference. Now the last test that we're going to run with this mic system will be the microphone with the foam pad and another accessory that Rode sells called the Dead Cat, which you can see here is this fluffy bunny fur feeling cover that goes over the foam. And the foam cover has to be in place for this to go on. It doesn't just fit over the mic itself. But this is just added wind noise protection. So again, the first pass with this will be in the standard on position, and then we will run it again in the high pass filter position and see if we can notice a difference between uh, that and just having the foam windscreen on by itself. So there you have it. That's a quick test of the Rode video mic system. Nothing fancy. I'm still learning everything. I don't really know what I'm doing yet either. All I did was take the audio from the camera and the audio from the microphone and put it into my computer. I did not alter it in any way. What you're hearing is simply the way the microphones recorded it and put it out there. So I know there's mixing and whatnot that can be done with the audio, blending and all those sorts of things. but. I'm lucky I'm smart enough to hook the microphone to the camera at this point, so we haven't messed with anything other than that. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody out in deciding whether or not to buy one of these systems. I think it's great. It seems to work for me. I've shot two weddings using it so far, and I've had nothing but good things to say about it. So hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.